of the Jackson area and has written a series of books. His latest is out the, um, I think uh, we've got one, two, three, four, maybe even five books he's authored and he's already working on another one. We welcome to the show James Michaels. Hi, James. Hi, well, thanks for having me show. here. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, so uh, when I heard uh, that you're coming to the show, I, I pictured someone older. You, you look young to have been to have written four or five books. Thank you. I actually turned uh, thirty this year. Okay, so that is young, uh, especially that four to five, how many books? Five. Four? Um, four published, and I'm writing my fifth one okay. as we speak. So, how did you get into uh, book writing? You know how people say you can't just wake up one day and do X or B Y. Um, I actually did that. I woke up one day and I said why don't I write a book? I've always been an avid reader and I was on kind of a serious binge on reading and it just came to me one day. Like, mm -hmm. Why don't I just pick up, uh, you start on chapter one, start writing. So an idea came to my head and I started writing and I thought it was going to be just a one-off. And as, the, as I was writing the story, because I didn't plan it out at all, mm -hmm. I realized it was going to be longer than I had anticipated. So I, I was going to have to make it into a series. So I wrote the first book, finished it, and a different idea came to mind. So I wrote a book that was outside of that original series, mm -hmm. finished that one, came back to the series, wrote the second book, and I kind of followed that pattern. I published my, I wrote my fourth book that was outside the series. Now this fifth one is the third one in that well, see, series. I, can, I don't know how you follow, because uh, I didn't. It seems... Uh, <laughs> It's got to be challenging to be working on one book and then thinking about another and then going back and um, especially when they're completely different. In a way it's kind of like it kind of gives me a break from what I'm working on mm -hmm. um, to explore just a different avenue kind of a break from that atmosphere change it to another one and then by the time I finish that book I'm able to then jump back to the series that I was working on. How long does it take to write a book? Oh, uh, I've seen some people it takes them three months. For me, it takes, the longest one took me about 15 months. The shortest one took me about maybe seven to write. No, I, I would guess that that seems probably reasonable. So in, in, uh, in your adulthood, you've pretty much been writing all the time. Um, for about five years now, yeah. yes. So uh, let me see your books. You brought them uh, with you, and they have um, names that they're just begging to be uh, to read inside the cover or the, mm -hmm. the back uh, blurbs. Uh, let's put them up here, and they are here. So, which books are the series? That would be Ice Rising and okay. Ice Box. All right, I got that. And what's uh, what, what's the genre of your uh, your series? They're all crime thriller. Okay. Every single one. Is there any real life in them? No, I've mm -hmm. always been a fan of crime fiction and true crime, mm -hmm. so that's what I want to write in. So, did you use any uh, real life cases uh, in uh, inspiration for any of these books? No, not really. It pretty much just you know, came to my mind one day. Like I said, I woke up one day and that's the idea that woke me up that day. Wow. Uh, the latest book, which one's that? Life's Dark Corners. One right okay. Here. So this one is different. And what's this one about? So this one is actually a collection of short stories. A few years back, I had submitted a short story to an anthology series. Um, they rejected it but it kind of gave me the idea to make my own anthology series, so that's what I did. So it's a collection of five short stories. I call it Five Short Stories, Five Epic Tales mm -hmm. of Crime. And they each center around completely different people who crime affects their life in one way or another. Um, is it okay if I, if I go into detail? Sure. The synopses? Yeah. So the first story... As long as it's not lurid detail. No. Okay. So the first story is Shallow Seeds that tells the story of Calvin. Calvin mm -hmm. has been on the streets for 20 years um, as you know, he's been a criminal and for 20 years he's been scraping by. One day he decides to find something that he's good at. It kind of falls on his lap as 
did writing for me. And he decides this is gonna be my little niche in the underworld. Mm -hmm. However, he kind of gets in over his head with disastrous results. So that's the kind of the, the, the name shallow seeds, you know, when you, when you sow your seeds, it might not bear the fruit that you want depending on the soil that you use. Um, the second story is a soldier's widow, which tells the story of Janine. Now, unlike Calvin, Janine is a regular citizen. Um, as the title go says, that she is a widow, her husband has passed, and one day she's targeted by two hitmen. They bust into her house, but she ends up getting the drop on them and defends herself and actually kills one of them using her husband's Vietnam War service pistol. He was a veteran and had taught her how to use the weapon um, before he had passed. Mm -hmm. And so the second hitman gets away, she realizes that she's, you know, she thinks that everything's okay until information come, gets to her that she's being targeted on well, purpose. Well, once there's a hit out on you, yes. it doesn't go away. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so <laughs> it, it was definitely a very interesting story for that. And, um, you know, the, the question is, is there may be somebody that, you know, why was she targeted? So, especially well, that's this. I, I'm, already, I'm already wondering. She seems like, you know, this is, she seems like a sympathetic character, widow of a, Vietnam uh, mm -hmm. War uh, veteran. Oh, it seems, well, who would want to do anything to that person? But apparently she needed t t t two hit men. Yeah. And even then, it sounds like it didn't work. <laughs> so you have to, you, you, do your conclusions, are they satisfying? I would say so, yes. Okay. Yes. Happy ending. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's, I guess that's another way of um, putting it. So how do you, do you self-publish or do you have a publisher? I'm self-published. Okay. And then how do you, uh, how, how are people find your books? My books are available on Amazon, all mm -hmm. of them. Um, I also have a website, uh, jamesmichaelsbooks.com. Mm -hmm. Are your friends, family, uh, and neighbors uh, hidden in these books in disguise or by name? No. 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 Okay. No, because they all know where I live. <laughs> so. Now, I know you don't want to talk about your real life job, but your real life job, you are in, in, uh, in uh, law enforcement. So are the things that happen in your, in your professional world that help you in writing books where there's crime? Um, no, actually, to be honest, I kind of, I kind of knew that this was going to come eventually. You know, I thought that you know, a lot of it would be based on what I've seen, but just, you know, the ideas that come to my head are quite different from the environment that, um, that I'm used to working in. So it all pretty much just, like I said, like becoming a writer one day, it all just came off the top of my head. It's all out of your head. Yes. Now, do you do book signings and uh, appearances and things like that? I do, actually. Um, I started doing those last year. I've done a few in Jackson, um, a few over in the Metro Detroit area, and I'm actually scheduled to be at the Jackson Antique and Collectible Show here in town in a couple weeks. Awesome. We'll stop by and see him there. Uh, in the meantime, you can see him online at his website or wherever fine books are sold. James, great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me on. Uh, author of Ice Rising, its sequel Icebox, The Ballad of Johnny Carlo, and Life's Dark Corners is uh, latest, available right now. Thank you, James Michaels. That's it. We're all out of time.